in wisdom, peace and love. Peace be with thee. Only one organization upon the planet collected all the knowledge and wisdom of the masters and jealously hid them for more than 2,000 years. Time to fight back. Know the weapon that they wield against man, it is ignorance. Magic through the manipulation of words. They. The Vatican, Illuminati, the Pope who is the Pontiff, the head of the Pontifical Academies, that manipulate every aspect of human and animal life. Serve, Satanil, known as Lucifer. Their greatest weapon is the DD Magisterium known also as the Chronicles of Lucifer. The source of all our woes, knowledge is power. Time to learn and use ours. Chapter 1 Before man walked the earth and gods shaped mankind. Before planets and stars and all races of higher beings. Nothing existed, than the idea of existence. A dream, so delicate but one thought, one memory lost, might render it void. A universe so vast, no immortal living being may cross its span. A journey without end. Whether awake or asleep, awareness never dies. That we are one and many is the eternal paradox. That we are both ignorant and wise is a unique mystery. How then the human race came to possess a gift of such value and immeasurable power. That few but the gods of ancient times hold, is to the heart of our story. How then humans came to forget this treasure is why there is much to be told. Of what all men have forgotten. For even gods may forget, from which we first came. Our first names, the vessels of our first form. Yet nothing is lost upon awakening. Nothing is. A point with no measure. The point before is. No measure with no boundaries. No boundaries with no existence. No existence which is not. There is no concept for it. There is no thought about it. There is no thing about it. It has no meaning. It has no purpose. It is not. Nothing is concept. Concept is nothing. The is and the is not. Is not is the boundary beyond which even I may not travel. For everything that is, is. And everything that is, is within the is. And that which is not has no means of description. Therefore there is no category. There is no separating into smaller is nots. Nothing is awareness. Awareness is nothing. For beyond this, nothing can be described. For it is the boundary. The boundary beyond which no rule, no particle, no concept, no thought, no action, no dimension can exist. It defines these and these not. It defines the something and other. It is the purest of concepts, the purest of substances, without blemish. Nothing is the purest of ideas. It does not define rules, but simply the canvas of existence. Nothing is absolute. Absolute is nothing. The purest of thoughts. It is truly the beginning. For nothing can exist before it. And nothing can exist outside of it. Nothing is the dimension on which existence rests. Nothing is pure dimension. Awareness is a monarchy with nothing above it. It is unique collective awareness whom exists as the mother and father of everything. The invisible one who exists as all things and the pure existence which no living eye can fully comprehend. Awareness is the invisible spirit, of whom it is not right to think of him or her as a god. For she is more than a god, since there is nothing above him, for no one lords it over her. For she does not exist in something inferior to him, since everything exists in her. For it is she who establishes himself. Awareness is eternal, since it does not need anything but existence. For unique collective awareness is total perfection. Awareness did not lack anything but existence in form, that he might be completed by it. Awareness is illimitable, since there is no one prior to him to set limits to him. Awareness is unsearchable, since there exists no one prior to her to examine him. Awareness is immeasurable, since there was no one prior to her to measure him. Awareness is invisible, since no one saw him. 
Awareness is eternal, since she exists eternally. Awareness is ineffable, since no one was able to comprehend her to speak about him. Awareness is unnameable, since there is no one prior to him to give her a name. Awareness is immeasurable light, which is pure, holy and immaculate. Awareness is ineffable, being perfect in incorruptibility. Awareness alone is not in perfection, nor in blessedness, nor in divinity. But with existence in form is far superior. Awareness is not corporeal, nor is he incorporeal. Awareness is neither large, nor is he small. Awareness is not someone among other beings, rather it is far superior. Awareness is the living dream, the boundary and all existence within itself. Awareness is the collective and unique dreamer. Awareness is all existence. Awareness is pure, immeasurable, immortal collective mind. To exist is the goal, the reason, the purpose, the answer, the challenge. Existence is concept. Concept is existence. The idea of existence. The argument of existence. The notion of existence. Existence is a matter of degree. Matter of degree is existence. Existence is relative. Perspective of more than one. To be more than. To be more than one. To live, one dies. One dies to live. The mystery and the reason. Existence is awareness. Awareness is existence. Awareness of existence is greater existence. Existence is change. Change is existence. Everything is change. Everything is dream and motion. Existence is dependent upon your existence. For if one point ceased to exist, existence would cease to exist. And as all units are made from points of unique collective awareness. And all super subatomic particles are made from units. And all subatomic particles are made from super subatomics. And all atomic particles are made from subatomic particles. And all molecules are made from atoms. And all molecules are made from atoms. And all cells are made from molecules. If just one cell, if just one hair of your body ceased to exist, the universe would cease to exist. In the beginning, was the idea and the idea was mind. And the earth was without form, and void, and no object, nor measure, nor thing existed excepting the idea of the unique collective awareness. And the majesty realm of awareness said I wish to exist as existence. An awareness thought, let there be existence and there was existence as the infinite dream of potential. An unique collective awareness saw the dream of infinite potential, that it was good and awareness divided the dream from himself, the dreamer. An awareness called the dream the universe, and the infinite dreamer he called all. And the cleaving of existence, of the universe and all were the first stage. An awareness said, let there be the heavens of stars and their kin in the midst of the void of universal space, and let it divide the space from the substance of stars. An awareness made the stars, and divided the matter which was around the stars from the stars, and it was so. An awareness called the stars, stars and the spheres that orbit the stars, planets. And the cleaving of stars and planets were the second age. An awareness said, let some of the planet that orbit stars be, so that water and oceans may gather unto the surface, so that life may exist, and it was so. An awareness called one such planet Earth, and the gathering together of the waters called the seas and awareness saw, that it was good. An awareness said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself, after his kind and awareness saw, that it was good. And the upon life forming on water planets around stars such as earth it was the third age. An awareness said, let these precious sanctuaries of life be protected from harm, so that it might not be consumed by the stars, nor cleaved by violence. 
and let there be barriers upon barriers of fields of rocks, and unborn stars around such living stars that are home to such sanctuary planets, and it was so. An awareness made a companion for the earth in the form of the moon to guide, and measure the oceans and light the night. And for the protecting the sanctuary of life, awareness gave unto the sun its own messengers, to sustain it for its own nourishment with tales of heavenly fire as reminders for life yet to come as a warning against hubris. And to rule over the day, and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness and awareness saw, that it was good. And these were the fourth age. An unique collective awareness said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that has life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open heavens of heaven. An awareness created great whales, and every living creature that moves, which the waters brought forth abundantly, after their kind, and every winged, fowl after his kind and God saw, that it was good. An awareness blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And these were the fifth age. An awareness said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. An awareness made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and awareness saw, that it was good. An awareness saw everything, that she had made, and, behold, it was very good, and this was the sixth age. Dream is. Dream exists. I am dream. All is dream. Dream is awareness in motion. Awareness in motion is dream. Dream is a system of awareness in motion. Rules and constraints. Laws and science. Dream is existence. Existence is dream. The rules of existence in motion. Dream is a matter of degree. Matter of degree is dream. Dream is argument of perception. The dreamer and the dream. The real and the unreal. Within the dream looking out. Outside the dream looking in. Dream is life. Life is dream. Dream is life of mind, perspective of mind. Mind is immortal, yet body within the dream is mortal. Within the dream, everything is real. Within mind, everything is awareness. Belief is the boundaries, the bedrock and limits of awareness. I am the absolute majesty rim. I am the all. I am the one. I am the is. Nothing greater than I exists. No word can describe greater than I. You are the is and within the is. I am not the is not. Boundary rests as a description. All descriptions rest within is. All not descriptions and non-describable rest outside the is. I am everything. Everything that is. Everything that was. Everything that will be. When you call my name I am. I am DD Majesty Rim. The End. Are you mad yet? Upon hearing this, you should be pierced. Now you know how the words of the English language came to be. Time to rethink the usage of our words. Also, the unique collective awareness is the Creator and His wisdom. Please make note, that this being does not use His name once, and wisdom is female. My counsel to you as a teacher of righteousness is to be enlightened. Come back to thy heavenly parent yet hour, and walk away from these deceptions for they are many. Who would have guessed the importance of the omission of a few words, and how one distinguishes one from the other, darkness from light. Now you know the answer to the I am deception. In closing, Christ Yeshu counseled in the gospel of peace for us to govern our thoughts, our words and our actions he stressed how powerful the angel of thought is. Now you know, that man has been manipulated for thousands of years by the mere manipulation of his thoughts. They that promote the I am philosophy of practicing the D.D. Majesty realm against you. Time is of the essence, peace be with thee.